Hello again, welcome to my class. In this video, we shall learn about dilution of a solution. My name is Teacher Hura and welcome to this lesson. So dilution of a solution by definition is the process by which the concentration of a solution is reduced by adding more solvent to the solution. For example, if you go to the supermarket and buy some juice, that juice is really concentrated, especially the ones that are written there dilute to taste. So what you need to do is to add some water to the juice to lower the concentration or reduce that concentration so that it is good for consumption. Now in chemistry, the concentrations of solutions are given by moles per liter. They are also given by grams per liter. But now we're going to be most interested in the moles per liter, that is molarity. So there is an interesting formula that is always going to be applied whenever you're talking about dilution of a solution. And the formula is M1 times V1 is equal to M2 times V2. What this means is the initial molarity of the solution multiplied by the initial volume of the solution should be equal to the final molarity of the solution multiplied by the final volume of the solution. So I'm going to show you with a few examples on how to apply this formula in questions. So for the first question, it says that uh, calculate the volume of 9.0 molar so sodium hydroxide solution that will be required to make 4,000 cubic centimeters of 0 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide. So the formula is mole 1, that is molarity 1, times V1 should give us M2 times V2. Now our initial molarity, that is the M1, is the 9.0 molar right here. That is the one that we're starting with. Then our first volume, that is the initial volume, V1, is what we are looking for. We see calculate the volume of this solution. Then M2 is going to be our final molarity, the one that we need to make, which is 0 0.5 molar. And our second volume, that is the final volume, is the 4,000 cubic centimeters. So right from here, the next thing is just substitution of these values in the formula. Then from here, we need to make V1 the subject of this formula by dividing both sides by the 9.0 molar. So you'll find that here, these two will cross out and the molarities will also cross out this side. And our final answer is going to be in cubic centimeters. Now, once you punch this into the calculator, you end up with 222.2 cubic centimeters. So you'll realize that in this case, if we were to dilute the 9.0 molar sodium hydroxide to 0 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide, which is 4,000 cubic centimeters, we need to measure 222 cubic centimeters of the 9 molar solution and add water until it gets to 4,000 cubic centimeters. So you can see it's a very simple thing. And this is very straightforward. The arithmetic that is involved is also very basic. So now let's get to the second example. Now in this second example, you're required to calculate the volume of water that is to be added to 50 cubic centimeters of 5 molar HCl to make a 2.0 molar solution. So you can see now, 
the concentration is being lowered from 5 molar to 2 molar. So we use the same formula, M1 times V1 is equals to M2 times V2. Now, our initial molarity, M1, is the 5.0 molar. Our initial volume, V1, is the 50 centimeters cubed right here. Then now we need to calculate, uh, we need to get the M2, which is our final molarity, which is going to be 2.0 molar. And our final volume 2 is what we are looking for. So now once again, we'll substitute these values into the formula. Now, we need to calculate for V2, so we need to make V2 the subject of this formula by dividing both sides by the 2 molar. So these ones will cross out, these ones will cross out. So our values is going to be in cubic centimeters. So V2 is going to be 5.0 times 50 cubic centimeters divide by 2.0 so this one is easy you just substitute you just cross out this by one this gives us a 25 so it's going to be 25 times 5 which is 125 cubic centimeters now this is the final volume but the question is what volume of water should be added so since the initial volume was 50 and our final volume is 125, the volume of water to be added is the difference. So we'll take 125 centimeters cubed, subtract 50 centimeters cubed, and we will end up with 75 centimeters cubed. So this is the volume of water that you should add to this concentrated solution to dilute it. Now finally, let's look at another question that is going now to have an application part into it of this process of dilution. All right, so for this third example, a label on a bottle containing sulfuric six acid has the following information. So the first thing is density of 1.84 grams per cubic centimeters. Percentage purity is 98%. Relative formula mass is 98. We need to calculate the molarity of the acid. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that if you've been given the density, then it is possible for us to calculate the mass of one cubic centimeters of that solution. So, we know that to calculate the, the first step here is going to be calculating the number of moles of sulfuric 6 acid in only one centimeter cube. And of course, you remember that to calculate the number of moles, we need the mass and we need the relative formula mass, the RFM. So the RFM is right here. Now we need to determine the mass and that can be determined from the density. So we know that 1.84 grams is present in one cubic centimeters. That one is given by the density right here. Or you can decide and say that the mass is going to be given by density multiplied by the volume. So that is going to be the density of 1.84 grams per cubic centimeters multiplied by our 1 centimeter cubed. So this will cross out and we end up with 1.84 grams. So this is the mass of one cubic centimeter of the solution but you have also been given information that tells us the percentage purity of this solution is 98 percent so that means that this mass here is for the entire solution and not for the pure sulfuric six acid so our second step number two is going to be to calculate the mass of pure acid 
So that is going to be the 98 over 100 multiplied by 1.84. This gives us 1.8032 grams. So that now is the mass of pure acid. Now, if you have the mass of pure acid, the third step now would be to calculate the number of moles of pure acid. So that is going to be given by moles is equals to the mass in grams. Divide this by the relative formula mass. So we just substitute what is right here. And we have 1.8032 divide 98. So this is going to give us 0 0.0184 moles in one centimeter cubed. So now that you have the number of moles in one cubic centimeter, the molarity is usually the number of moles in a thousand cubic centimeters. So we'll have the expression as 0 0.0184 moles is only present in one centimeter cubed. So how many moles will be present in a thousand cubic centimeters? So we'll cross multiply this and you have a thousand cubic centimeters multiplied by the 0 0.0184 divided by one. And our answer is going to be 18.4 moles per liter. So remember the capital M stands for moles per liter. So it is 18.4 moles per liter. Or you can write it as 18.4 mole slash L. So this is also accepted. So either way, you have the concentration in moles per liter. That is the molarity. Now this question has a second part that now involves the dilution. And it goes as follows. Calculate the volume of the concentrated acid that would be diluted to make 6 liters of 2.0 molar sulfuric 6 acid. Now here again we shall be using the formula of M1 times V1 is equal to M2 times V2. So our initial molarity is the answer that we got in our first part. That is the 18.4 moles per liter. Then our V1 is the volume that we are looking for. Calculate the volume of the concentrated acid. So this is what we are looking for. Our M2 is the final molarity, which is the 2.0 molar. And our V2, which is the final volume, is the 6 liters. So now, we need to substitute this into the formula again, and we'll have it like this. So once again, to make V1 the subject of the formula, we divide both sides by the 18.4 molar. So our answer right here for V1 is going to be in liters. So once you calculate this, you end up with this is 0 0.6522 liters. So that is how we calculate the questions that are involving dilution. There is nothing much to it, and it's as simple as just knowing the formula 
and substituting the correct values. So if you learned something today, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe if this is your first day on this channel and also make sure that you don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that is going to enable you to get new videos whenever I upload them. Until next time, bye, see ya.